This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, but this time I've transitioned over to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro The Dawn of a New Era. I've decided to give it another shot. I had given it a shot in the past, uh, basically to see how well it could function with link implementation and when I last tried it it was really glitchy uh, but as it stands now it actually is kind of working kind of all right uh, it still has some things to be desired it's definitely definitely still very buggy oh I was waiting for that to activate but it just <laughs> I have to click a zone because I have auto card plays and turn off but as you can see I'm playing with that Herald deck that I posted a deck profile of uh, because I really like just not giving a shit or giving a fuck, uh, basically. But so we can get a Seraph Sovereignty, a Scepter Sovereignty play going on here uh, with a Herald set up, uh, which is fine. This Wings will probably stay in hand unless I draw a Bear or Toy Vendor, in which case, um, well, specifically if I draw Bear, um, Bear is going to be the card that's you know more likely to allow me to uh, do some other specific plays, like allowing me to take the minus one off the Toy Vendor but then also allow me to get those cards back because of Wings' graveyard interaction. Uh, but So this will get Septia, and I'll do the Scepter Sovereignty play, uh, because this is just, I mean, without Brilliant Fusion, without anything else, I mean, Zombie, yes, absolutely, I'd love to Zombie. Uh, that's one of those bugs that I was talking about. Another bug was that sometimes it just won't let you activate Deltaros' effect to pop cards. Um, that's another thing that sometimes just happens. Ooh. Uh, but so here, I'll summon this Sovereignty, and we'll see what we get. Uh, turbo. Toy Vendor. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, this works. So, uh, what we use is, uh, I don't actually have Deco Talker in my extra deck for this one, do I? No, I don't. I forgot to put it in. Fuck. All right. Well, this still works, because what we'll do is we'll activate Brilliant Fusion, and we're going to take up the zone with Seraph Knight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send something that I don't particularly care for, like another Herald of Perfection that can be added back to my hand off of something like pre-prep. Uh, so we'll do that and put this here. Now, I'm going to activate this, discarding the Toy Vendor, and we're going to use the Toy Vendor's effect to add Bear. And then I'm going to discard Bear to set Toy Vendor. And then at the end of this, if I haven't drawn into Gale Dogra off of the two draws I'm about to generate... Uh, which I'm going to discard the Fluffle Wing. I'm going to take the Raw minus one here. That's another Herald Perfection. That's fine. I'll, I'll take that being engraved. Uh, but so the Fluffle Wing's here, and the uh, Bear is going to generate me two draws and a certain... <sighs> well, it was going to generate me another search, but instead I drew the Fluffle Bear. <laughs> Fuck. Rip! All right. This is still workable. So I can still normal summon the Bear. It's an Earth Monster, so I can make Mrs. Radiant this way. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit less free, but we can work with it. So I'll use this into Ouroboros and summon this here. The, the Scepter under the Ouroboros will zombie and we'll destroy this. Uh, and then we'll get a draw. Now let's see, what did I, let's see, do I have access into cards? How many cards do I have engraved? I've got one, two, three, whoa, plenty of spells. Uh, so I'll activate this. Detaching the scepter to discard. Okay, Magician's Navigation. So I'm playing against Dark Magicians or something of the sort. Uh, which is great, because that means that three negates is more than enough against that deck. Uh, very much so. Uh, but so I'm going to shuffle back these. I'm going to shuffle back Upstart Goblin. I'm going to shuffle back Brilliant Fusion. Uh, doesn't really uh, doesn't really matter what you shuffle back in that instance. But, I mean, you, you're you going to shuffle back the cards like pre-prep and shit. Because that means that there's three of them in the deck again. Um, so this is this. And this is not nearly as ideal as I was hoping it would be. I got really unlucky drawing that Fluffle Bear. But, at the same time, there are less Heralds in my deck, which means I could draw into pre-prep of rights and start getting this from Graveyard instead of having it from deck. My deck is inherently thinner. Um, sure, you can activate that duality. That means I'm not getting Kaiju. Uh, Dark Magic Attack, the uh, the Secret Village of the Spellcasters, and what else was there? This log is already incredibly long. What do you take? He took Dark Magic Attack. Um, and Eternal Soul was what was there. Okay. Okay. I see you. 
So he's setting all these cards. He's got a Magician's Navigate in Grey, which he can use to negate my Ritual Sanctuary next turn, which kind of sucks for me. But at the same time, I have Ouroboros that I can use. I can very easily just do many things. Another Ritual Sanctuary. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, it's not at all what I want. <laughs> it's not at all what I want to mess with. Uh, but I do have two Toy Vendors in Grave, meaning that I can bring back Herald of Perfection if it leaves the field if I get to six again. There's a few things that I can do here. But... I'm just going to activate this and I'm going to start discarding the Ritual Sanctuaries, see if he's going to activate his Magician's Navigation, you know? Stuff like that. Uh, I need to change my profile picture here because I can have a profile picture. So, you, you already know, we're going to put a profile picture up of the best, the best duelist in the land. Uh, but so, is he, are you going to Magician's Navigate my Ritual Sanctuary or not, dude? Please. Just tell me. Just do it. <sighs> I've got three negations. He's got five cards. He's got two sets. Kind of worried about what the sets are, but at the same time, not really. The thing I like about Mrs. Radiant specifically in this deck now is that Mrs. Radiant, if it gets destroyed, it can add back Max C or it can add back Fluffle Bears that are in your graveyard. Um, Eternal Soul. Sure, we will negate this. We will we will take some time to negate it and we will get rid of it. Uh, so this, I'll just use it to add Dawn of the Herald to my hand. That way, uh, that way, the deck is just thinner, essentially. That's, there's no real reasoning for it other than just make the deck thinner. Also, I can bounce this card, and is this game? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, let's see. Let's see, target a card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. So we'll bounce this card. Uh, let's see, that's 18, that's 36, uh, that's 46, 55, uh... 75, 75 plus uh, 750. Yeah, 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 this is just game. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> Don't let your opponent play and then kill him. That's the that's the moral of this story. That's the motto of our game plan. Uh, this should be game. I miscalculated somewhere. Where did I miscalculate? Is this game? This is 800. This would have been game. Where did I miscalculate? It was 36, 46, 55. I upstarted my opponent. And I didn't count that. I was going off 8,000. Uh-oh. <laughs> At the same time, I don't think it matters, though. Sad truth of the matter is I do not think it matters. Uh, because what I get to do here is I get to activate this over this. <laughs> and then I can use this effect, right? Uh, for, the, <laughs> for the chair in my grave. Shovel back all four of these cards. Summon the chair. And then summon the chair out of my hand to get a draw. <laughs> And then, uh, and then I can summon Delteros and, uh, and pop cards and draw cards. That's Gale Dogra. That card's great! Ooh, that card's good! That means I can set this. I can set this card. And then I can, uh, rotate that into a Delteros. And I can pop it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not even gonna pop this Dawn of the Herald. I'm going to... Yes, Zombie. I'm gonna destroy the Mrs. Radiant. Because I've already got my two extra zones uh, taken up. And then I will draw a card. And then I will use Mrs. Radiance effect to add back my Fluffle Bear. So that I get another negation. Uh, and then I've got Gale Dogra, which I could utilize. Hmm. I've got a few different options here. I can normal summon this as well, but all my uh, sovereignties are in the grave. So that's not something worth. But I think I'm okay with this specifically. Yeah, because he could just Magician's Navigate my uh, my Dawn of the Herald if I do that. So, I'm going to go into Diamond here. Because if I go into Diamond, right, his deck is Dark Monsters. So that means that even though I have negations with Herald of Perfection, if I go into Diamond, that means that there's less that can go wrong, essentially. Because if he does something to the Herald of Perfection, that means that... Uh, the, I can still negate his Dark Monster effect with Diamond. Diamond is just anti, like, Burning Abyss card. It says you can't mill. Negates Dark Monster effects. It's the anti should all in Burning Abyss card. I kind of miss that format. I, by kinda, I mean a lot. I really miss, like, 2014 Duelist Alliance era till the end of Necro's format. I really miss that time frame of Yu-Gi-Oh! But he's just setting cards and passing. Uh, he's, he has gone past the point of not being a threat. Uh, because I just got these. Uh, and the thing is, I can actually use Ouroboros to banish his, uh, Magician's Navigation if he doesn't use it here. So, like, I can force through literally all, everything that I want. 
Is this even effect, an effect that can activate on my turn? If you control a Dark Magician. So we can't even use this card. I thought this card was so much better than it actually is. Whoops. Uh, but so he's thinking for his response. The Tryhard Champ 98 playing Dark Magicians. Apparently not tryharding hard enough. I'm tryharding more than the Tryhard Champ is. And so I just want to resolve my card, please. Because then I can add... Uh, I can add a card. I can add Dawn of the Herald to my hands, and Gale Dogra will search nothing actually, because all of the Herald of Perfections are back in my gr are still in my graveyard. Come on, dude. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> oh my God! Fucking finally, you waited all that time just to activate a goddamn Maxi. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right then. For what it's worth, I. Still don't forgive you. <laughs> ah! Um, well, I had Dawn of the Herald. That way I can discard it. How many spells do I have in Grave now? Do I have, like, more than one? I've got one. <laughs> I have the one. The one. Uh, I can activate this to just banish his Magician's Navigation. Uh, so it's not a factor. But now I just kill him. He made me sit here and wait for a solid, like, two minutes so he could think about activating Max E. Just so that I can negate the fucker. God damn it. I love these shenanigans. This is the kind of shit that gets me excited in the morning. Not really, but anyway. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I'll definitely play a little bit more with this deck if you guys want to see more of it. Uh, because I had people that talked to me in response to me putting the deck profile up. And in like comment form, Facebook form, Discord form. Uh, that were like... Are you going to play this for videos? I'm like, yeah, might as well. It's kind of it's kind of ignorant enough to play for videos. So here it is. And if you want to see more of it, I definitely am not objected to the idea. But anyway, as always, guys, like I've already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the nonsense you usually do. If you enjoyed the video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot more than you think. Also, leave a comment with anything that you want to say. It helps the channel a lot more than you think it would because of like YouTube engagements and shit like that. But other than that, links as always are in the description of my Facebook fan page and my personal Patreon page if you want to support the channel directly, help make some future content possible, to get into a monthly raffle giveaway for 10 packs, all that sort of stuff, then definitely go check out the Patreon page. Special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, and Yuki Phoenix, and all the other people that have been supporting me on Patreon this month that helped make this sort of more quality content possible. I've been slowly upgrading equipment, getting ready for essentially what I'm going to be doing a huge stream rush. I'm basically going to start doing like a bunch of live streams, probably at least twice a week, uh, just doing playing with people because like I really enjoy live streaming, but I haven't been able to do it because my equipment has been subpar, it's degraded, but all of the Patreon stuff is going towards a streaming setup, I mean, like a new equipment to improve my ability to stream and capabilities for that. So I'm really excited for that when that eventually ends up being a thing. So thank you all so much that have already given support and thank you preemptively to anyone else who want to give support to that factor of this channel as well, essentially. But anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And take care. I will see you in the next video.